Hey, sports is back in the mix. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I am Paul Sicala, and we are live here at the Omni Tucson National, the site of the 2023 Cola Guard Classic. Of course, it is hosted by the Tucson Conquistadores, and it was day one of the Pro-Am, and the program today actually had a University of Arizona flair. Not only did the athletic director, Dave Hickey, take part, but a number of other athletic supporters were there. The president of the U of A, Dr. Robert C. Robbins, he took part in some of the activities. And I had the chance to catch up with the University of Arizona head football coach, Jed Fish. And we'll catch up with him in just a bit. But first, let's trace back to how last year's big tournament ended with the big win for Miguel Angel Jimenez. 12th win of the PGA Tour champion. Miguel Angel Jimenez, the winner of the Cola Guard Classic. That was Miguel Angel Jimenez, last year's Cola Guard Classic champ at the trophy crowning ceremony. And it truly is just that, a crowning with the golden Conquistadores helmet unique to the longtime PGA event here in the old Pueblo. But before Miguel Angel Jimenez begins to defend his crown in round one on Friday, it was all about the Pro-Am. Check out U of A head football coach Jed Fish golfing away. He had joined in a foursome with University of Arizona President Robert C. Robbins, athletic director Dave Hickey, and longtime athletic supporter Cole Davis. Yeah, I think that's what the key about being on a campus like University of Arizona is and being in the community, community of Tucson is every opportunity we have to give back, that's what we want to do. We know that we're very fortunate in our situation being here at U of A and to be able to give back to local charities is awesome. Well, this is a magnificent event uh, run by the Conquistadors, and uh, we're, we welcome all the pros into town, uh, an opportunity to showcase Tucson a little bit, uh, but for an awesome charity uh, and, and an awesome cause as well. So it's a, it's a terrific event. An event that has brought in millions of dollars over the years to nonprofit organizations here in the old Pueblo that always give back. Coach Jed Fish from the U of A football team told me that it's always fun to represent the university in a non-football level, in this case, giving back to the community, but also he feels quite lucky that he got his rounds of golf in when it was still sunny, like right now, right before the rain hit Tucson hard. And let's not forget about the heavy wind as well, with the calm before the storm. As busy as you are as a football coach, how tough is it for you to take the time to do something like this? I'm sure it's not easy. Today was a little bit tricky, but we uh, we bumped back our player meetings a little bit later today, and uh, so I won't miss anything. And the guys are in the office working. We got great assistant coaches, so we're all good. All good and all smiles for a group of U of A athletic heavyweights enjoying a round of golf with the PGA all-time greats, while also giving back and having some fun. Bear down. Oh, I am pumped up already, bear down. And here's the deal, if the rain ends up ruining tomorrow's day two of the Pro-Am or the, perhaps the snow, guess what? The money is still intact for all the charities raised through the Tucson Conquistadores. Unfortunately, those who paid for the Pro-Am to be able to do it, they won't be able to take part. But that money will stick, that money is there, so that's the good news. And of course, all the PGA greats, they will start with round one of the Cola Guard Classic starting on Friday. Reporting live here at the Omni Tucson National on the north side with the Cola Guard Classic Pro-Am hosted by the Tucson Conquistadores. I'm Paul C. Cala, News 4 Tucson. Let's send it back out to Matt Broad for a last look at your weather. And Matt, I can tell you over here right behind the Santa Catalina Mountains, the wind is really kicking up, my man. Yeah, it's making for good lighting on you though, Paul. Looking good. 100% chance of rain Ooh. turning over to snow in many spots. And yeah, windy tonight. Yeah. We'll be ready. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Inside Edition is next. We'll see you back here at 10. Be safe.